So my friend dropped off this laptop here with a BSOD problem. He bought it as a workstation, but to me, it just looks like a decent gaming laptop. Let's take a look at it. Before talking about specs and games, let's address the issue. My friend says that every time he uses it, he sees a blue screen of death. Well, apparently it happens often because I even got it on camera. But the first clue of the problem is pretty obvious. This thing is so hot, oh my god, you can literally burn yourself if you keep your hand on the upper part of the keyboard for too long. And I got big temperature spikes while downloading and installing software alone. In any case, there are a couple of things we can do to try to get better thermals, so let's get going. The cooling system on this computer doesn't look too bad. It's got two different fans and heat sinks joined together by heat pipes, a block for the CPU and a block for the GPU. The surface of the CPU block seems rougher than the GPU, and indeed, it's what gets warmer of the two. One thing I like to do is to lap the contact surface of the heat sinks so you can make them much smoother. This usually helps thermals a little bit. So I have two kinds of sandpaper, it's a 600 and 400, I'll start with the 400 and then I'll move on to the 600 and then after that I'll scrub the surfaces with the rag and some metal polishing paste. Lap contact surfaces to the CPU and the GPU, new thermal compound and also a quality one at that. And is this going to fix the BSOD problem? I have no idea. And to be frank, it didn't improve the temperatures noticeably, but now at least I know it's running optimally. Funny. Sorry, and after the quick cat intermission, we're back. This PC had Windows 11 installed, and as it came with Windows 10, the BSOD problem could very well be a driver issue. So to make sure it got everything out of the way, I also formatted and reinstalled Windows 10. And I'll give the owner my personal opinion that if you don't need to update to Windows 11, don't. Use Windows 10 for as long as you can, please. Ooh, look at that external CD-ROM drive being useful. At least to save a friend's computer. All right, so with that out of the way, what is this laptop? Well, Avel is a Brazilian brand. They make high performance notebook computers and office notebook computers as well. Actually, saying they make it is a bit of a stretch. I believe they buy bare bones systems from Sager or Clavo and whatnot, and they put on their own brand. The good thing about this is that we as Brazilians can enjoy a high performance system with a national warranty covered in Brazil. The bad thing, well, for one thing, as you can see, you can get a space heater like this guy instead of a gaming laptop or workstation. Besides the heating problem, it's great. It's got a 120Hz display that looks pretty sweet. It's got a 6-core 9th generation i7-9750H that runs at 2.6GHz with up to a 4.5GHz max boost clock. It's got 16GB of RAM and a GTX 1660Ti. If you think this is a bit outdated, you're right, but this was bought about 2-3 to three years ago, so peak gaming performance as far as I'm concerned a couple of years ago. To me, the cherry on the top of this hotcake is the keyboard. Oh my god, this keyboard is so good. It's a mechanical keyboard with real keys instead of dumb chiclet keys that I hate so much. It's so good. It's got some crazy RGB that's not here nor there, but I don't care. Keyboards like this is something you rarely ever see these days, and I would love to see more, more of them everywhere. So how's gaming performance on it? Well, see for yourself. Ray tracing is not a thing for it, as it doesn't have an RTX video card, but playing in Full HD, this looks great. Cyberpunk here is running smoothly, and I could care less if it's not reaching the full 120Hz of the display, but it feels great, and that's all that matters. Okay, okay, sometimes it dips close to 40, but not in many inst instances, and man, this is cyberpunk at the highest settings, besides ray tracing. Let's take a look at Doom Eternal. Oh yeah, takes a bit of time to get used to how fast paced this game is, especially on a laptop. 
Ideally, I would want to cap the FPS at about 60 to try to make it a bit cooler because we're in the tropical country of Brazil, man. Room temperature here is 30 degrees Celsius. That's 86 Fahrenheit for my American friends. So trust me when I tell you I don't need a space heater. But Doom is very well optimized and it runs great. Here we have Mafia Definitive Edition. If you're a regular here, you know how much I love the original Mafia game. I haven't given the remaster a fair shake yet, but it looks very good. I don't know what it is with the ambience this game provides. I like it so much. Now back to our laptop. I did a few tests with the performance modes provided in the Game Central widget that comes with it. If I set it to economy mode, it instantly fixes the heating problem, but it caps the CPU clock a lot. It seems it tries to stay on the 900 MHz range, and when it does, gaming performance is not great. Sometimes it goes around to 2 GHz, but it's random, unfortunate, because that seems like a good balance to me. Next we have Prey 2017. I had never played this one, so I tried it for a little bit. The game looks good, and I did a full run of the beginning here in energy economy mode and balance mode, and the same issues arose. Economy mode is too slow, any other mode is too hot. If I was to daily run this guy, I would look for software to cap the CPU at around 2 GHz. That seems like a nice balance between performance and thermals for the 6 core i7. Luckily, the owner of this laptop is in no way a gamer, so I'll instruct him to keep it in the energy economy mode unless he needs otherwise. Anyway, this is what I wanted to show you today, an audacious Brazilian computer brand in a high performance space heater laptop with an easy cooling mod. You can try this with any laptop, it usually does improve things. Like it did on a Dell computer, I used the same technique a while ago and documented in the video linked here at the end. But oh well, this one is just too damn hot. And I'll be seeing you on the next one, which should be a retro related video as I like to alternate whenever I can.